Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what's in my pencil case and doing a draw with me. So this is the collapsible pencil case that I actually got from Stationery Pals a while back. I didn't think I was going to be able to fit a lot of stuff in this pencil case but I can actually fit a lot in this pencil case. I was actually going to get a, like a thicker washi tape to put in my pencil case but then it was a little too thick to fit in that little pouch so I just decided to get a thinner one. And then I kept a ruler in there and an eraser which I've had that eraser for actually a really long time. And I always like to carry pencil cap erasers around because every time I use one of those it like snaps in half on my pencil. No matter what I do it like always like just snaps in half. And when going out, I can't bring my markers since they're on the stand, so I decided I wanted to bring like some colorful liners or like colorful pens so I could like like give the drawings like a pop of color when I'm drawing because usually I'm just drawing in pen or like pencil or just whatever so I, there's like not a lot of color in them. So This is one of my favorite writing pens, it's actually not ink because I like the purple it shows and it And here's like three different sizes of liners. Cause so I always want to make sure like I had like three different sizes. So I wasn't like having to draw on super thick or thin. And then I got a mechanical pencil and then some just like pens. So I could just like write in pen. I actually got this in a Christmas advent calendar this year. And it was a little, little tiny poppet. And I put one of these little binder clips in there just in case my paper didn't want to stay down. And in my opinion, I kind of like having sticky notes all the time, just in case I mess up on a drawing face or like just any reason. You know, I like to stick little notes for myself in my sketchbook. I got a silver sharpie and some brown fine liners, so I could just do like some outlining in brown. And then here I wanted to do some shading one day with like a brown colored pencil. And then some more like outliners with a pop of color. And I put a white gel pen in there and then of course the essential, I had to have a pencil in there or how can you draw? And then I had a pencil sharpener and these tiny scissors. I had to put them in there because they were just so cute. And I've had them in there for a minute, but that was like so cute. And I have the campus notepad in there just in case I wanted to take any notes. And there's a lot of pencil shavings at the bottom of there, so I do need to clean that out. So I did a shorts video of showing my new eye style and seeing like if you guys like the old eye style I did better or the new one and I actually recorded this video before I got to do my new eye style so this one still has the old eye style but I think by like the new year I want to just start doing all of like the rounder eyes instead of like the more boxy eyes because I really like how they look like much better. I'm actually not sure what video I'll do next week but as far as I know I'd want to do like new year new eye style or like new year new style of drawing and I'm actually not sure if like Saturday falls on like January 1st or what day it is but if it does that would be a pretty cool video idea then. So maybe this drawing will grow on me but I did like the sketch I did of the drawing just the line art just for some reason with her arms and just her eyes now that I've changed my style I'm just not a big fan of her eyes anymore and I just kind of think I could do like actually do better so I was like I don't really like it but I mean there are some good things to the drawing too I do like how I did her hair and shaded her eyes even though they're not like the style I do anymore I still like how I did her eyes like the shading and the skirt I do have to say the skirt is one of my favorite things because that was like a new thing I was trying out so I am going to be doing a shout out emoji at the end of the video, but when I was opening my pencil case, there was like something at the top left of the screen, like where I was like at the top left. I'm not going to tell you what it is because that would give away the shout out emoji, but it was like staring at me. It's a little figure if you can find it. I don't think I've ever done a complex pattern on a scarf before, so this was actually a lot of fun for me because like I've never done that before, even though you guys can't see it yet. I thought the skirt was like a really fun thing for me. So I filmed this video over a span of like three different days. So if you see my shirt has changed three different times, that is probably why. I don't know if this is just me or any other art YouTubers or people that do voiceovers, but literally like I like the voiceovers now, but then right as I go to post the video, I'm like, those voiceovers weren't that good. Was I just rambling or what, is it, what even was I talking about? 
So I'm looking at the finished Raleigh and I was like, I really don't like hate this Raleigh and I really do like it. There's really nothing bad to hate about it. But then I was thinking, what did I hate about it? So then I was looking at her arms, how they kind of look a little stiff, and then her eyes. So I don't think I really hate this drawing. I think I just like, like the arms and eyes to be a little bit better. So when posting this video, it will be the day of Christmas Eve. So if you guys celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys have like a wonderful Merry Christmas. And if you guys are looking for an art contest to join, don't forget I still have mine open until January 15th. Then it will be closed. But I actually have a video about it that I posted last week and I have a community post I should say all about it. So I've actually never done a skirt like this on any of my drawings before so I thought it was really fun. And I actually was like, oh my goodness, I don't want to mess this up because it actually started to look so good. So my art contest was for 700 subscribers, which I recently just hit 1,000, which thank you guys so much. This is like absolutely crazy. But I was wondering, like, not another art contest since I still have one going, but what would you guys want to see for like, maybe like a 1K special live stream where I let my subscribers pick what I draw or something, or like drawing your guys' OCs, or just something to that extent. What would you guys want to see? I was thinking of maybe wanting to do a desk tour, but I'm not very sure of like how I would do it. So I was trying a bunch of stuff new, then this drawing actually, except her eyes, I was trying a bunch of stuff new. I did a new hairstyle with like really curly hair, where it was like super like spun curly, where it was like not like wavy, but like super spinny curls. So yeah, shading her hair is actually pretty fun because I used a bunch of different colors. Like I used super light browns, and more golden browns, and then I actually took out like a really dark brown to do like the deepest parts of it. And then I put some highlights in it at the very end to make it like really pop and show like the reflection. Not reflection, but like the light glaring off her hair. I didn't show my full shading process, but I just started to put like a darker value of brown on top of the lighter brown so it could like maybe be like the highlights and the shadows and then I would just fill in like the shadow parts. So I wanted to give her some blush, but I didn't want to make it too heavy to where it was like you couldn't even see her skin tone anymore because all she could see was like the pink. So I wanted to go with like a pink theme to make it like super pinky and cute. So then I was like, what background could I do? Cause I can't really do like a solid pink background. So then I still decided to like make it like a, not nightfall, but like the evening where the sky turns orange or pink. So then I just did some little gray clouds and then I was gonna put pink in the background. So then it looks like it's like evening or dusk. So I was just gonna do one big cloud in the back to make it look like the cloud was just right behind her. But then I wanted to do some smaller ones so it actually looked like there was clouds behind her, but like they were like further away in the distance. I do end up shading the pink background because I do think I made it a little too light, but I did want it to be on more the orangey side. So I did like add some pinker tones in there so it'd be like more pinky. And it would be like, it looks like it's like a shaded sky. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And here's the shout out emoji.